Hey up everyone, Magpie Gaming here. I hope you're all doing well. In this video, I've got two subjects to go through with you guys today. The first one is Pestilli's channel being taken down. It was taken down on Friday and it was down roughly for about eight to nine hours. Uh, Pestilli knew nothing about it other than getting an email to tell him that it had been taken down for repeated violations of their uh, community guidelines. Basically what had happened was a spam bot had been used to hit his channel and register a lot of his content as spam. Now when this happens, it's a completely automated process at YouTube's end and they just take a channel down. You then have to appeal it and your appeal goes to human oversight to see if you can get your channel back. He did that and he managed to get his channel back up and running. His previous, he's He's done a video to let people know exactly what went on and to say that he's lost a lot of viewership because of this. This is down to the YouTube algorithm. The way the algorithm works on YouTube is it doesn't take any notice of subscribers. It basically goes on the viewership on your channel. The more views you get and the longer people view your videos, the more it will recommend your content to other people and thereby it grows a channel going forward. But because he had eight hours of downtime, the algorithm sees that nothing was viewed so it isn't pushing his content as much as it should do but hopefully it will repair itself over the coming days and weeks and his viewership will grow back up to where it was but as i say it's the algorithm that youtube uses it's a very finicky beast you've got to feed it just right and like i say it doesn't take any notice of subscribers it goes on views and the interaction that people have with a video so the more people like a video the more people comment on a video the more youtube will push that content to other people to watch as well so when you watch a video and you think it really makes no difference just tapping on that like button it really does the algorithm will look at that and then push that content to more people commenting on a video even if there are already hundreds if not thousands of comments it does make a difference it keeps youtube on its toes and it pushes that content to other people so as pastilli stays in his recent video you know you should always interact with the content even if it's just to leave a benign comment or to just leave a like on it or even give it a share it all goes towards pushing that channel and helping to support that creator but he does have his channel back and hopefully it will repair over the coming days i have to say a big thank you to pestilli for commenting on my video you know he's a very humble guy he dropped by left a comment on my video hopefully he left a like on it as well i'm not too sure i can't tell because it doesn't tell you who actually likes the video but hopefully he did leave a like on it as well but yeah i just wanted to get info out there to people and he saw the video and liked it which was great that really actually made my weekend and the second subject we have is the scar assault rifle the community has been asking for this to come to the game for a long time we've all been asking for the scar l i didn't know that there were two variants of the scar there is the scar l and the scar h the light and the heavy looks as though we're going to be getting the scar heavy now the only real difference between these as far as i can tell is what they are chambered to fire the light is chambered for 556 five, and the heavy is chambered for 762 we are going to be getting the 762 variant i'm quite happy about that i think there should be more 762 weapons in the game i do like the 762 round in my personal opinion i don't use it enough but hopefully when they bring the scar out i will give that a good go and um hopefully it'll be an enjoyable weapon to use now i wouldn't take the renders as gospel that we will get this weapon anytime very soon we do know that there are two patches on the horizon 1210 and 1211 1210 isn't going to be very content heavy as we know but they have said that it will include some weapons so it could be that it's included in 1210 but don't quote me on that i've seen renders come out from bsg before of weapons and we're still waiting years years later for these weapons to actually make it into the game but the scar looks like it will be coming sometime soon and that is pretty much it for this video ladies and gentlemen as always don't forget to like share and subscribe stay safe and i will catch you in the next one take care